northern Ontario. Here, approximately 80 miles southeast of the third largest known impact crater, or Astrogleam, on Earth is the Hammond Street Burger World. Built more than 30 years ago, this nearly 1,500 square foot family restaurant houses the Vortex Stone, a relic that more than 7,000 people come to visit each year. You know, it's not the most convenient location. Right off the highway, got this intersection. People everywhere. I don't know what all the fuss is about about this big rock coming in. Tourists from everywhere pack up the parking lot and make me wait for my burger. Vortex stone. I found it in the old septic tank where my buddy Daniel was upgrading his plumbing back in 93. I thought it was a putrefied turd at first, but it turned out it was a piece of radioactive mobilite. Yeah. Moldavite? Isn't that some kind of crystal? You see, moldavite is a green vitreous projectile glass formed by a meteorite impact in southern Germany that occurred about 15 million years ago. Nobody knows how it got to be in a septic tank in northern Ontario, but lead researchers think it may have to do with Burger World's proximity to the Sudbury Astro Beam. It has been theorized that Sudbury's Astro Beam acts as a sort of portal, like a gateway to the north which has direct communication with both southern Germany and the Hammond Street septic tank. Hey, is it on? Hey, hey. Sir, sir, please, please back away from the camera. Okay. Can you, can you tell us about the Moldavite? Yeah, yeah I remember. I remember the Moldavite. It's working down the road in, uh, uh, 98, uh, 22 years old, uh, flipping burgers, Burger World down there, um, came crashing in, ended up using it to ch power their, p p p the grills, they ended up using it to power the grills, hello, hello, so sorry your phone didn't ring, and then, anyways, that was way long before, you know, before I had to leave, the stress took over, and You see, the word dialectical means two opposing forces. And in dialectical behavior theory, we have two opposing forces acting seamlessly together. We have the force of change and wanting to change and having change in the individual, as well as acceptance and validating who they are coming seamlessly together. After young Randolph Franklin was teleported to die at Lost Pass with the Vortex Stone, his mind struggled to accept what his eyes had seen. We implemented a strict regimen of dialectical behavioral therapy to help him understand that, while the horrors are indeed unimaginable, there are still bountiful opportunities to experience joy and pleasure on this earthly plane. Sir, sir, could you could you please tell us about your experience in DBT? Ah, DBT, yes. They told me about taking this DBT. I thought they were gonna give me DMT, you know, so see the machine owls and stuff. Uh, but they got me on this DBT. It's a little more complicated. I wish they went the other way, but uh, it's working out pretty well. They say the longer you do it, the better your results you see. It's like ED or their PE, I don't know, the long exposure one. With DBT, a combination of skills that promote mindfulness, distress tolerance, interpersonal effectiveness, and emotional regulation are key. Although it requires a significant commitment from both the practitioner and the patient in order to see the best results, 
It is widely understood to be one of the best therapeutic approaches ever developed, especially when it comes to PTSD, like Randy has. Even though the majority of research that has been conducted on DBT has been with female clients, new research shows that it is just as effective for men. Yeah, I seen the stone, but I ain't got it. I swear. What? What's that? What's it? Oh, oh, you just want to hear about act? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I tried to act. Now they got me talking to myself. All this self-talk. What's that? Uh, they tell me to diffuse my thoughts that they ain't real, and it, it helps some. But I still see them little green men when I close my eyes real tight. Anyways, so I was working a new job over at Burger King, but my manager didn't like me talking about this stone all the time. But what happened with that? But I got my therapist telling me that I don't, that I shouldn't repress any of these thoughts. That I gotta just say it as it is. But this manager, she, she wouldn't listen. She, she's, she's being ableist is what she is. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. Acceptance and commitment therapy, or ACT as they like to call themselves, has been known to re-traumatize patients who have already moved on from their traumas. ACT discourages experiential avoidance, instead forcing clients to relive some of their worst moments over and over again. As we can see with, such, with cases such as Patricia's, who has suffered PTSD similar to Randy, uh, when this is not executed properly, the, um, this constant re-exposure to past traumas can do more harm than good. You know, it might not seem like this, but now that I've started this DVT, I'm a lot less skittish than what I used to be. 